Hi there, my name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is a wave shaping module based on Chevy Chev polynomials that I created for Voltage Modular by Cherry Audio. It's a work in progress. I'm hoping to add some displays here, maybe one showing the actual transfer function of the nonlinear wave shaper, and the other showing something like the output of the wave shaper if you input a sinusoid. But I haven't figured out how to do graphics yet, so that's something for future work. If you notice a bit of Buchla influence on the GUI design here, that's not a coincidence. I'm particularly interested in the way that Chevy Chev polynomials are used in wave shaping in the Buchla 300, 400, 700, and the Buchla 259E. You can create your own modules for Voltage Modular using Voltage Module Designer. And I should mention that you can get started with Voltage Modular and Voltage Module Designer for free. And if you buy the professional version of Voltage Module Designer, you can upload your modules to their storefront and sell them. Now, the 800-pound gorilla of frameworks for writing various musical apps is, of course, Juice. You write Juice apps in C++, and C++ can be very efficient, but writing in C++ tends to make me sad. I suspect it's probably easier to write VCV rack plugins using C++ than writing plugins using Juice, but I haven't really looked into it. In contrast, you write plugins for Voltage Module Designer using Java. Now, this is not going to be as efficient as writing a plugin in C++, but the advantage is you can get something running very quickly. I was able to get a simple version of my Chevy Chev Wave Shaper going in about four hours. I think of Cherry Audio's choice of Java for Voltage Module Designer as being analogous to Unity's choice of using C Sharp for its game engine. In the Unreal Game Engine, you have Blueprints, which is a high-level block scripting language. I think that's kind of analogous to Reactor by Native Instruments. But if you need some lower-level access, you have to go all the way down to C++. So there's a bit of a Goldilocks problem. There's not a middle layer that Unity kind of hits with C Sharp, and I think Cherry Audio hits using Java. Now, although there are quite a few videos about Voltage Modular on YouTube, as far as I can tell, there's only one video on actually writing your own modules, and it's the initial intro video by Cherry Audio. So let's remedy that. So join me next time, and I'll show you Voltage Module Designer and start walking you through the code.